So I just want to make a little bit of a comment about the testing I'm doing here today. Uh, parking lots are unmapped in most situations. The car is having to make decisions based on its neural network and its visibility only. Um, and that's difficult to do. So the purpose of this test is, is more to explore what the car does do with the information it has. Uh, the success of these is, is not something I would even expect as this full self-driving is basically a, a city streets build and city streets is definitely not parking lots but I think as the neural networks get more and more advanced how it makes decisions with what it sees in front of it when it isn't mapped is an important edge case and a, and a boundary case to explore so while there wasn't a whole lot of success on these tests uh, I had have today um, I think it's interesting to watch very very closely what the screen is doing what the projected path is doing and how the decision making is proceeding hopefully that gives a little bit of context hey YouTube I'm gonna do some testing today uh, exclusively in parking lots so basically getting into and out of parking lots to see how the visualization matches up with both mapping and uh, getting to a, a pre map destination uh, so this first one is just starting inside of a target parking lot. I'm here in front of a stop sign and I should be able to initiate FSD. And I do have a pedestrian coming here. I don't want to startle this person. Alright, one thing I'm noticing off the bat is the speed limit inside the parking lot is set at 25 miles an hour, which is quite a bit. Um, you have a couple pedestrians here that it's waiting for. And another pedestrian perhaps coming, but it jumped immediately to, uh, and I had to disengage there because of the way that pedestrian looked at me that disengagement was because of a 25 miles an hour it was just a little bit too fast I'm trying not to um, modify the speed too much but in that situation it was just a little too much all right I'll re-engage here and see if it'll get us out of the parking lot In this situation it's set at 25 but now it's going 13 so I'm not exactly sure uh, why it's choosing to go slow now but here we go uh, navigating very slowly around the median stop sign it's proceeding pretty slowly and unsure of itself but it's doing it A little bit of oncoming traffic and it should be clear for a right on red after this next truck. That was a good creep. And now it needs to hit it pretty good. Alright, I'll say that was a successful one getting out of the target parking lot. Alright, here we have a, uh, a mapped route into a parking lot uh, for a grocery store. It's a little bit early, the parking lot's not too busy. Um, but it should make a right turn here into the parking lot. Blinkers on. Very nice job there. All right. A little bit unsure where it wants to go up here. But it looks like it wants, can't decide between in front of the grocery store or behind. And I think it's going behind the grocery store. Go. feel a little bit like it's acting like a seeing eye dog at the moment and it disengaged itself I'll re-engage and see where it takes us oh 
Okay. Not where we needed to go. We'll call that one a fail. If you can see on the map here, it ended up behind the store um, when in essence it was trying to work its way to that black destination. All right, we'll try something else. Go for it. Okay, I've repositioned and now we're gonna let the uh, full self-driving navigate out of this uh, grocery store parking lot. It's got a pedestrian up here. It looks like it's thinking about it. It's waiting. I have a lot of pedestrian traffic, but it's waiting. Proceeding uh, hopefully after that pedestrian clears. Still set at 25, which is too fast here. It's unsure of itself without a lane line. Accelerated a bit too much for my comfort level, but there was no pedestrians around, so I let it go. All right, it's working its way up to the stop line to get onto the uh, highway and turn to the right. Very cautious here. All right, it will be clear after two cars and it's clear now if it wants to proceed. A little bit hesitant. If it accelerates now, we'll call that a successful uh, exit of the parking lot. Nice job. All right, this scenario is entering a, uh, a large super target parking lot that's mapped pretty well uh, and it even has a, uh, a light here to help us get into the parking lot so it's a little less complex. We have a green yield that should not go. All right, it was going to go so I had to stop that. Some protected lefts are still a little bit of a problem. All right, we'll re-engage here. Now that we're in the parking lot, does not have a stop sign here it's a three-way and that guy was a little frustrated with my driving It's going to stop right here at the destination and call it complete. All right, now we're going to let it uh, navigate out of the target parking lot. And uh, this time it chose a little bit of a different route, but the map is actually giving it the, the route here. Not a whole lot of traffic up here, so it's kind of going around the outside edge. A little bit weavy in here. its way around. All right, looks like it's going to make it. It's got a lead car up there to follow if it wanted. It's now going 12 miles an hour when 25 is uh, still set as the default. Um, feels a little slow. I wish it was doing this a little bit closer to the uh, store though with the pedestrians around. All right, it's got its blinker on and it's got a uh, right turn only and the traffic is clear to the left if it decides to proceed. Needed to kind of commit a little bit more than that and now accelerate. Put it navigated out of the parking lot. Okay, in this situation, I've backed into a, a parking space. Uh, I've got a, a route planned and I'm gonna put it in drive. And I'm going to see at what point FSD thinks it can get out of here. So I'm in a parking spot. It's got a predicted route to the left, but no wheel. So I'm gonna come out of the parking space to the right and why it has 50 miles an hour set is because the highway is is 50 miles an hour i hope it wouldn't actually attempt to do that in the parking lot
and there's the FSD available. So I've engaged it. And it does have 50 miles an hour set. That's not good. Yep, it got a little confused there. Okay, I've set up a similar scenario where I'm backed into a parking space. I've got uh, a route out of the parking lot and full self-driving is available uh, just after I put it in drive. The predicted route looks like it wants to go straight through these medians. Uh, let's see how it does. So this is directly out of a parking space. Slowing down very cautiously here. Stopped. Not sure what it's stopping for at the moment. Now there is an oncoming car, so it should be waiting on this purple car here. All right, I'm gonna have to disengage because of the confusion created by that car. All right, we've got a. Uh, navigation light here we do have a green arrow if it wants to proceed it waited a little too long and it's a yellow arrow and it went through a yellow arrow I had to take over there that might have not needed to be taken over at that point but all right I've re-engaged to enter the parking lot all right a little bit fast for me again but uh, it slowed down quickly And it passed the destination. It looks like the route. Whoop, I had to stop there. It was going to hit that median. Not exactly sure why it would have done that. Very clearly a median right there, even on the map. So I'm just going to re-engage it here in the parking lot since it seems to think it has a route it wants to take. See where it, how it finishes. Okay. And it autopilot navigation complete. So it thinks it's here. So it finished at the end of the blue line, not the actual destination. Uh, so that little snafu, it should have just stopped right there, but it was trying to complete the navigation route. Okay, I've got another small exit in the parking lot route here. I will uh, slowly drive until FSD is available. And it looks like it's available now. I'll engage. Let's see how it chooses to get out of the parking lot. Got its left blinker on for some reason. Now it's got its right blinker on. Maybe for the... Now it thinks it wants to go left. But it needs to go right. But we'll let it go. It figured a way through that. Wow. All right. It rolled that stop sign for sure. And it's... Okay. It got a little confused. All right. It was trying to come up into this parking lot uh, next door here, so I'll enter that manually. I'll have to say I was impressed that it navigated the uh, a, the, the bank drive through that was pretty narrow but it did a good slow job all right I'm in a parking space in a rather empty parking lot um, FSD is available and it's got a route to get out of the parking lot let's see if it'll find its way
sorry, it stopped way before the stop line. Um, but it did stop and uh, proceed safely. We have a biker here and it rolled a right on red. And a little bit of a pretty crazy jog there, but uh, it got out of the parking lot. Fortunately, there was not much traffic around, so I could let it do its uh, lane choices. Okay, this next one is a uh, left turn with a green arrow protected into a CVS parking lot. Pretty straightforward. If we do have some oncoming traffic, it will need to wait for here. It stopped a little aggressively. Uh, there's nobody behind me, so I'm going to allow it. It's got its blinker on. And it wants to turn into the parking lot a little fast there and then my hands stopped it so uh that was my fault for disengagement but my hands were on the wheel as it went through i'll re-engage if possible here to see how it finishes And it hit a curb. Ouch. I didn't think it was going to hit it. But it did. It was a gentle one, but it hit it. Okay, I just checked the tire. The car's fine. No uh, curb rash or anything, but uh, that was a little disappointing. So this next one is navigating uh, into a parking lot that I'll call the uh, probably the most complex because it's all under construction. Uh, I don't have a lot of high hopes here. Let's see what happens. All right, it's got 35 miles an hour set. I'm slowing that down. I don't want it to even approach that speed, so I've set it down to 15 miles an hour. default has changed to 25 but I've still got 15 set there's a lot of construction in here and it's kind of got a straight area mapped up ahead let's see how it finds its way disengage because it was going directly towards that car there are no lanes here uh, it's having to basically do all of this visually all right it wants to go straight you can tell it hasn't decided but it needs to go left here okay so I'm gonna help it a little bit and uh, re-engage here if it allows me. Okay. It uh, had a little trouble with all the uh, construction zones.